Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will show you step by step process how we can easily use EasyPost. EasyPost is an amazing complete shipping solution that you can use and for registration you will get the link down below in the description. Just click on it and you will get right here to EasyPost. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to click here on the top right, sign up for free. Here I'm going to add email and first name, last mail, copy, then phone number. And password. And then click sign up for free. Now let's just wait until it loads. And then we need to verify our email. So we're going to get the verification email right here. And this is the code. And I will paste the code right here. Verify. Now let's just wait until it loads. And this. Welcome Mark. Great news. You've been automatically enrolled in a developer plan for free with no monthly changes. So you see world class platform, better shipping, parcel protection. So let's just click here, complete profile. And then uh, let's fill everything that we see and then we will continue. Now guys, I'm going to uh, remove my camera so you can get like full experience because I don't think my camera is needed and I hope you won't miss me. <laughs> so let's go further. Now, when you're gonna be right here, I will just close this. Uh, add a company name, San Wee. Job title, I'm a business owner, business type, I'm a service. And monthly shipments is under 100. Again, you choose yours, all right? So then what you're gonna, gonna do, click submit. And uh, when you're gonna have the shipments, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how we can do. Manage your account from this drop-down menu. Use the create label to create labels from our interface. Our reporting pages provide all the information you need. And use the checklist to set up easy post in a few simple steps. Okay, get started. So first thing first, we're going to see the set up the checklist through the product. Click on it. Okay, we got this already. Then create a test shipment. So let's click here a test shipment and then we'll continue. Click next. So click on your email address and then Epic Keys. And you would copy this and use this guide to create your first easy post shipment. And you see like the whole a straightforward how to do it. And if you want to and go with the developer mode, you can go this way. All right. So this is the first thing that you can do and you will get the guide right here. Then uh, you can go simply to shipments and you would find the shipment right here by um, like right here. Then you can simply add a career. That's the next, next thing Add a shipment. And then career accounts, you see right here on the billing. And right here, I'm only using easy post career accounts or add a careers. So, okay. You're going to see on the right side, all the careers that you can use. Of course you can use, okay. Let's say that you can use DHL. We see right here, or let's say we want to use, I don't know, Amazon. And you would add a reference here, description, access key, secret key, seller ID, or you can add whatever you want, like DPD here, right? Reference, description, web connect username, web connect password, test web connect username, and everything. So it's all based on the information that you have, right? And you would find it right here. Now, when we go further and we're gonna have the career accounts, you can go to bottom right and you can see the optional brand your tracking page, email address, brand. And then there's the next thing that we're going to do. You can simply choose your theme here, tracking page preview, or like this one or that one. You can up upload the logo here. Oh, that's my girlfriend. Um, right here and then URL name 
and say rend. So look, look, see how it looks like right now. We got a B there. Or we can simply change that. So this is how we can do it. And we can preview it in a new mode. And this is how it look like with our logo and everything. So this is how you can do it. And this is how you can easily brand your tracking page. You can also set up the web hooks. Web hooks for developers are push notifications or callbacks, which allow you to stay up to date on status of easy post objects without needing to pull for updates. So you would find it right here and you can also add a payment method. Again, we would go to our email and billing and you currently don't have a subscription plan and you would add a payment method right here. So this is how we would set up all the checklist. And when we go even further, uh, we can simply create a production shipment. And then here we are. So here in analytics and everything, we can go in a shipment and click here, create a label. So, and now create a label manually. So to address, let's say this is going to be Marcusino um, company email random road and we got everything city and everything is filled out click next from address or we can again go with the name Random Lake, Wisconsin, next, return address. Okay, like this one. Next. Okay, I'm able to verify address. So let's see. Like this. And let's test it out like this one. Okay. Then return address. I'm going to copy it from address. And then when we go further, I'm going to click next here. And I can change the parcel. And then click next customs info and now this is for the customs info constant type if it's going to be merchandise return goods documents gift sample so let's say this is going to be documents contents explanation you would add it right here restriction type if it's going to be none other quarantine so this is going to be none non delivery action return abandon and you would add a custom items right here So again, we would fill everything and this is how we can create a label. So description of item would be like shoes, one, 50 USD. So I'm just like making this up right now. UPC, origin country. I know. Then okay, next. And then when you got it, you're gonna have the options. A custom ID you can use to refer to your shipment in Epi. And you can have label format of PDF, PNG, ZPL, address verification level, if it's going to be full or minimal, invoice number. Again, you would add it right here. Custom label message type if it's going to be none, purchase order number, department number, and you would add the custom label messages here, delivery options, signature required, adult signature required, or indirect or none, endorsement, and you would fill all the personal informations and everything. And when you would fill everything, you would get checkout. Then what you can do, 
is to simply buy a label and then you're good to go. And this is pretty much it how you can do it. You can of course create a label to CSV and that's pretty much it. Then you're gonna have the batches here, the reports and webhooks and events. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah, have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.